everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybroses. In today's video, we will discuss about first in first out. So first in first out is a common inventory valuation method where the oldest items in the inventory are sold first. So to manage with the FIFO, let's dive into the inventory module. From there, head into the configuration settings. And we can find an option called storage locations as well as a multi-step route. So if you want to find this location, just drag down and under the warehouses, we can see these options. So we just need to enable these options in order to track the product location in your warehouse as well as to use the route. So once you have enabled these features, we know that the removal strategy first in first out can be set under the locations as well as under the product category. So I'm going to consider a location over here. So under the configuration menu, you can just move on to the locations. So in this, you can see that uh, the WH stock. So as you just move on to the WH stock location, that is the warehouse stock location here, you can, you can find a section called logistics where you can see the removal strategy. So I'm going to use the removal strategy as first in first out. Now under the product category also we can just configure this. So let me just consider a product which is bottle. So as you just consider the product bottle here you can see the on hand quantity of the bottle is 100 and let's move on to the category in order to set this removal strategy. So under this, you can see that we have just set the first removal strategy as first in, first out. Afterwards, uh, you can see that uh, as you just want the on-hand quantity, here we have different quantities over here with different load numbers, okay? And uh, as you just move on to the reporting here, you would be able to find to which location which item has moved first, which means in case of FIFO, we know um, where the oldest items in the inventories are sold first, which means the item that come to the inventory first will be moving out of the inventory first. So as you just want the move histories or locations here, you can easily find that which item is moved into the inventory first. So in this case, B01 is in moved to the inventory first. So whenever a customer places order for the item, uh, the first item will be taken from here and the rest of the item will be taken from the uh, the way in which the item just entered into the uh, inventory. Now let's move on to the sales module to manage with this. So I'm going to the sales module in order to create a new quotation where you can just fill out the details of the customer. I'm going to choose a product which is a notebook. No, sorry, not notebook, bottle. So as I just choose the product bottle, here I'm going to set the quantity as 45. So, um, the next step is to confirm the order, then only it will be treated as a sale order. So, currently we haven't delivered the item. Now, the next step is to deliver the item. So, as you just move on to the delivery, here you can see that Odo is automatically taking the item which is moved into the inventory first. Which means the oldest item will be taken first and you can see the serial number is automatically assigned over here. So as you just move on to the section here, you can see that uh, 10 item is taken from B01 because load uh, B01 only has 10 quantity and the load B uh, B02 only has 5 quantity and the rest of the quantities are just taken from B03. Okay, now if you can save this. And click on validate and you would be able to find the traceability, the move histories and everything. As we are just performing the two-step delivery, we just need to go with uh, the next uh, transfer. And let's click on validate. And here you can see that, uh, um, yeah, we have just delivered the item to the customer. So that's how we just manage with first in first out in Odoo 18 and Odoo's before removal strategy is a valuable tool for business that want to manage their inventory efficiently and accurately. So by following these steps outlined here, we'll uh, effectively implement FIFO in the Odoo environment and this would give more benefits and advantages. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.